Hello lovelies and welcome in my kitchen. Is there anything more satisfying than having your kitchen smell like homemade fresh bread on a Sunday morning? I didn't think so and that's why today we'll be baking a World of Warcraft inspired spice bread. We'll need 3 cups of all purpose flour, 1.5 cups of lukewarm milk, 2 tablespoons melted and cooled down butter, 2 tablespoons brown sugar, 21 grams of fresh baker's yeast or 2 teaspoons of instant yeast in powder form, 1 teaspoon of salt and a special spice mixture called Morga Spices that we will be making now. So we're gonna add 2 pinches of cloves, 2 pinches of cardamom, 1 teaspoon cinnamon, I prefer to use silent cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg, and a teaspoon of ginger. If you haven't used all of it in powder form, we now have to grind the spices in the mortar. Of course, you can also use all those listed as ready-made powders as well. If the shells of the cardamom are still quite big after grinding them, pick them out afterwards. bowl we mix flour, sugar and salt. We add our spice mixture to it and if we would use instant yeast we could now also mix it in immediately. If we however use fresh baker's yeast or active dry yeast, we first have to make sure that we mix this with a little bit of fluid before we add it in. Since I am using fresh baker's yeast, which I always prefer when I bake bread, for no specific reason at all, <laughs> we mix this with a couple of spoons of milk until it's nice and smooth and liquid. and we pour it in the middle of our mixture of the dry ingredients and mix it in with a bit of flowers from the side. And now we let this mixture, which is called a yeast sponge, ferment for about 15 minutes in a warm spot under a dish towel, just to let it rise a little bit already. After that, we can add the rest of our ingredients, milk and melted but cooled butter. Uh, we want to make sure that both are warm but not hot, so it helps the yeast to rise and does not kill it off by being too hot or too cold. Yeast is very temperamental. First, we mix all ingredients by hand or in a dough kneader if you have one. And I do prefer to let it rise for another 15 minutes or so before we get down and dirty with it. We want to sprinkle some flour on the table, plop the dough on it and start really working it with our hands. It might feel quite sticky at first, but the longer you need, the smoother it should get. This requires some arm strength and is a good exercise in patience, especially when a stupid thing keeps sticking to your fingers. But I promise you it's worth it and you'll have your arm workout done for the day. And we should enjoy even the smallest of fins in everyday life, right? Now we want to put our dough back in its home and cover it, letting it rise in a warm spot for around one or two hours or until the dough has doubled in size. Now look at that. After that we give it a second massage by folding it in shape and work all our love into it. Now that it's being more obedient and not so annoyingly sticky anymore, it's much easier to do so. After we have shaped a lovely loaf form, we put it on a covered baking tray. I definitely recommend those reusable baking sheets. They are so easy to use and clean and absolutely environment friendly. 
tuck the bread in with some cozy tea towels and let it sleep 30 more minutes. So after we have given it that full sense of security, we're gonna grab a sharp weapon, I chose a razor blade, and violently slice its top a couple of times. And after this, we shove it into our hot preheated oven at around 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And only 25 minutes later, the godly smell of homemade bread and exotic spices will make your house feel cozy and homely. The feeling of slicing your homemade bread that just came out perfectly with the most beautiful golden crust is just so rewarding. I personally love to eat this spice bread slathered in lard with baking crackling topped with salt and pepper, but I totally understand that this is not everyone's cup of tea. But yeah, there are so many more options that you can go for. A sweet version that I really like is with homemade berry jam and some lemon zest. I hope you enjoy and get excited for next time when we bake Dalaran brownies, another World of Warcraft treat. I wish you much joy this day. See you soon!